Ofcom, 58% of UK players subscribe to a game service. Ooh. There you go, Rock. You might be interested in this. 58% of UK players subscribe to a games service. Overall, 60% of UK adults and 91% of kids play video games. UK communications regulator Opcom released a uh, released its online nation 2022 report revealing that 58% of UK players were subscribed to a game subscription service during quarter four 2021. PlayStation Plus is the most popular paid for subscription service in the UK with 3.2 million subscribers and at the end of last year followed by Xbox Game Pass at 2.6 million, Xbox Live Gold at 1.5 million and Nintendo Switch Online at 1.49 million. These are all just regular services, right? They're not cloud services. There also there also were 2.1 million people subscribing to cloud gaming services by the end of 2021. 2.1 million. Okay, so let's just real quick. Let me do the math. 3.2 plus 2.6 uh, is 5, 8, uh, 6, 7, 3, uh, 8, 8, 79, 8, 0.79 million people playing games uh, subscribe to regular games and out of those 8 million 2.1 are cloud that's 25 percent that seems high i guess they're not talking about uh the ones with consoles so maybe that's a whole different number but that's pretty that's pretty imp impressive that out of the the ones signed up to cloud services, I mean, to game services, subscriptions, 25% are cloud-based. Uh, cloud gaming services by the end of 2021. And Sony was once again the leader with PlayStation Now. Oh, wow, that's you, Rock. Uh, the report noted that this figure increased to 2.9 million users when including those who access the, the free GeForce Now and Google Stadia. T oh, okay, there we go. Wow. Oh, okay, so 2.1 from the known, like PlayStation, Xbox. Nintendo doesn't have a cloud service, so there's, so 2.1. Whoa, wait a second. 2.1 million just for PlayStation and Xbox. So 2.1, so that's 0.8 million using GeForce Now and Google Stadia. Interesting. I like, ma I like numbers, man. I like math. Yeah. So what percentage is that? Around 30%. In terms of subscription services not linked to a specific platform, Amazon Prime Gaming Services was the highest reaching subscription service during uh, Q4. That's like an app you can download games in. In a separate survey about video on demand, Ofcom noted that only 54% of recent Netflix users were aware of its games offerings and only 8% have played a Netflix game. Elsewhere in the report, Ofcom noted that 39% of UK adults over 16 play online games versus 56% of kids ages between 3 and 15. So look at the difference between kids and adults that play. So 60% adults, 91% kids. And then when they look at uh, uh, online games, so 16, uh, the, the online games, uh, 50 39% of UK adults, 39% of adults. Uh, it seems like those numbers are way closer, right? Overall, 6% of UK adults and 91% of three of three to 15 year olds play video games, whether on mobile consoles or PC. The report goes quite in depth into the different platforms, which mobile remaining the number one platform in the UK with 37% of players. It's followed by consoles at 30% and tablets. So what happens when they use Google Stadia or, you know, or GFN when they can switch back and forth between mobile and uh, TV and PCs and stuff. So yeah, for those of you guys who are like me and kind of number nerdy, you know, like we like numbers, uh, this is it right here. H, uh, I'm 40, I'll be 42 in, in August. So I'm in this age category. 652 people right uh 47 mobile game mobile phones smartphones 41 uh consoles 41 percent 22 on tablet 15 on laptop uh 15 on desktop seven on smart tvs wait 
Oh, okay. Without a console on the TV. Okay. Virtual reality gaming headset, 6%. Plays game on any device, 73%. Wow. Out of a 652, 73% in my age. Well, I guess we can look at totals here, 60%. Okay, interesting. Interesting. During Q4 2021, you can gamers spend an average of seven hours and 33 minutes playing weekly. Um, in the UK, the most played mobile games is Candy Crush with 1.2 million UK adults on average still playing the 2012 King Title Daily. In February 2022, 2.5 million people played Candy Crush in the UK, which was followed by Pokemon Go at 1.6 million and Roblox at 1.5 million. Still on the free to play front, unexpected hit or wordle had an average of 8.4. I still haven't played that game. 8.4 million visitors mm -hmm. on its site in the UK in February 2022 for an average of 1.8 million daily visitors. All right, very interesting. Very interesting. So, as you can see, cloud gaming is still a baby, still very, very far away, I think, from, from any kind of um, majority share.